Hi everyone, it's Andrea here with a book haul, yay! So this is part one of it's going to be possibly a two part, yeah, two part, maybe three, if I get really, really into buying even more books this month of, a, you know, a two part book haul for July. This incorporates the books I was given for my birthday, which was on June 29th, but I haven't had a chance to haul them. So I'm going to start with the books I got for my birthday. So the first books were from work and um, they gave me a £20 voucher for Waterstone so I went in and bought a couple of books, put a pound or two with it just to get two special ones. Now you've already seen these two books so I'm not going to talk very long about them because I will be reading them as part of the book Tubathon and they are Jack Kuirak on the road and The Wonderful Wizard of Oz uh, by Frank L. Baum which is the Penguin um, Vintage Threads book, the, the Penguin Threads one which also has uh, The Emerald City of Oz and Glinda of Oz in it, which I haven't actually read those two, so I'm looking forward to those two. Now, just move the book. My brother gave me Hex for my birthday. This again is one I'll be reading for Booktubathon. This is my uh, After Dark read, or my After Sunset read, because it's spooky. And it says in it, Welcome to Black Spring, a picturesque town with an ugly secret. A 17th century woman with her eyes and mouth sewn shut walk its streets day and night, enters its home, watches when its people sleep. They call her the Black Rock Witch. So accustomed to her presence have they become that the townsfolk often forget she's there, or what will happen if her eyes ever open. To protect themselves, the Black Spring elders use high-tech surveillance to quarantine the town and keep it isolated from the outside world. Frustrated with being kept in lockdown, the town's teenagers decide to break the rules and go viral with the haunting. But no one foresees the dark nightmare that awaits them all. I'm really looking forward to this. On the back, John Connolly has said, Hex is reminiscent of vintage Stephen King, and I can think of no higher praise. So I'm really excited to read this one. I saw it before it was released, and I thought, oh, I've got to get that one. So I was glad to get that one for my birthday. Now, my mum, being my mum, uh, knowing how much I liked, and my dad, uh, Jodie Taylor's Just One Damn Thing After Another didn't buy me the next one in the series, or the one after that in the series, but she bought me the next six in the series. That's right, there are only seven books so far. There are supposed to be at least another three, Jodie Taylor said. So, my mum has bought me A Symphony of Echoes, which I'll be reading for my day seven in Booktubeathon, A Second Chance. A Trail Through Time, No Time Like the Past, What Could Possibly Go Wrong, and Lies, Damned Lies and History. So I've got the, all the ones that are currently available in this series. I'm really looking forward to that because I just, I just loved the first one. So excellent. Can't wait to read those. Um, I also bought Drag Teen by... Jeffrey Self, I have posted a, a sort of little review of this yesterday. I'll link it down below if you want to watch it. Um, bought this on the recommendation of Peter Mon from Peter Likes Books. Absolutely adored this book. I have just, oh, I've been telling everybody how fantastic this book is. You can see that in the review and also over on my book blog, which I will also link down below. Now, two more in this section of the hot haul. Again, this one you've seen on my uh, Booktubeathon list. And it's Body of Waters by W.H. Leslie. I've seen this on Jen Campbell and Mercy's Bookish Musings. It's a nice short one, which will go very nicely for my book that you've discovered from book, Booktube. So, yeah, so that one by Salt Publishing. I, I love the cover. I think it's great. I really can't wait to read this one. I've been dying to read it since I've got it, but I have managed to put it off. And finally, on the book front, I finally picked up, finally, I only read the first one last month, A Clash of Kings, um, second book of A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Look at the size of it! Um, yeah, haven't started this yet. I'm going to wait till after book two, Bathon, and then I'm going to crack on with this one. So, yay! On the subject of A Song of Ice and Fire or Game of Thrones, my partner, my boyfriend Paul, also bought me for my birthday. It was here when we got back from holiday in Tenerife. Excuse me a minute while I bend down to pick it up. This fantastic shirt, which I am looking forward to wearing in autumn and winter. You know nothing, Jon Snow! 
So I think that's uh, absolutely fabulous. So I can't wait to wear that. A bit of dust on it. So yeah. <laughs> so I still have probably about another 10 or 11 books that I've bought this month. And there will probably be more. Because I cannot help myself where books are concerned. Um, but yeah. I love books. I will read them all at some point. I've had recommendations from my friends, booktubers, and family members. So, if you've got anything you want to recommend, leave it in the comments below or send me a private email. My email is in my About Me section. Um, yeah, just contact me, uh, ask me any questions. I'm happy to answer anything. So, what have you been reading? What have you been buying this month? Are you doing booktube? Tubeathon. I hope you're doing big tubeathon because it, I don't want it to just be me and Peter because that would be sad. I know there's a few others doing it as well, so it's going to be absolutely record and epic, and I can't wait. So I will be back updating everything on Book Tubeathon over the coming week. I can't wait to get started. There may be another video soon. I don't know. I've got a christening on Sunday. Apparently, my nephew said to me, "Christening's at ten o'clock, but while you're there, Google." booktube i'm sorry was it book barn of bristol it's only 15 to 20 minutes drive away from the christian and it's open on sundays that could be very dangerous so i'll see you soon bye bye